Welcome to a very special episode of the Redback Revival Sing Along TV show. I'm your host, Charlie Sexton. Uh, today, all these songs are going to be uh, paying honor and tribute to uh, a personal mentor of mine and a very dear friend of uh, the TV station here where we tape these uh, shows for you, Dr. Jerry Goff. Dear, dear brother in Christ, um, we love Brother Jerry, and we miss him so much. But uh, back in the late 60s and early 70s, his group would hit the stage a lot of times singing this old red back song called, When My Name is Called in Glory, I'll Be There.
Thank you, Pat. I live in Nashville. I have a home there and uh, here as well. And uh, I'm a part of a little group that we gathered, used to, don't do it much anymore, but for many years, they were country singers and directors and leaders and some in the gospel field. And about three days a week, we would meet down at the Pancake Pantry and have breakfast. And I went down there one morning and uh, I sat down at, at my place at the table and a gentleman whose name probably won't ring a bell with you, but he's a behind the scenes man named Harold Shedd. And Harold is probably one of the foremost producers in Nashville. He's produced for Alabama and he's produced for the Oak Ridge Boys and Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton and on and on. And he said, uh, Jerry said, tomorrow we're going to be recording a Christmas album. Uh, won't you let us have a couple of Christmas songs and we'll see what happens. Well, I said, okay, I'll write you a couple tonight and bring them tomorrow because they don't want old Christmas songs. They want something that nobody's ever recorded as that's part of their putting on a new project. So that night at home, I was sitting there and I wrote sort of a secular type Christmas song first. And then I was sitting at the table and my Bible was opened and I said, Lord, uh, help me write a Christmas song that will tell the Christmas story, but also will tell of the reason for the Christmas story, that Jesus came to bring God's grace to us. And out of that moment, this song was born, and I began to write it. Hit the sound, Mr. John. And listen to the words. See what God laid on my heart for that night. I can't imagine a king being born without robes a purple and red but there's a story of old and it's true I am told a king was born where the cattle were fed just a baby the blanket of hay didn't look like the Savior, they say, but there's enough saving grace for the whole human race in that babe in the blanket of hay. wise men came to see if he was really what they thought him to be. Wise men still come today to the manger to pray to that king in the blanket of hay. of hay didn't look like a savior they say but there's enough saving grace for the whole human race in that babe in the blanket of hay Oh, man, I am loving this show about Jerry Goff. Me too, ain't cool. Yeah. Awesome. You, like, you like my tie? I do like that tie. Doc, Dr. Jerry gave me this tie. Really? Yeah, sure did. Sure did. He had one just like it, and I think they were up in New York, and he told little Jan, he said, I'm going to buy that for Charlie and take it and give it to him. And he did, and boy, I wear it all the time. That's pretty cool, I love man. it, yeah. That's so what you been cool. doing? Oh, hang around. Let's sit let's, down. Let's sit down and talk it over. Oh, man, you know, where I go, people are asking about my Uncle Benny. They oh, Lord, Benny Uncle again. Ben. Yeah. Benny he, Hanna. He's a little feather. And uh, he put in, he wanted to be uh, 
wanted to be a missionary. Yeah. And uh, they said, well, we don't really know where to send you, you know. And, uh, and they finally they had a little meeting and they all come to terms and they ended up sending him down to New Guinea with the, with the pygmies. They figured he'd be able to associate oh, I he, with them. I bet he know? fit right in with Well, them. he was on their level, you know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> But uh, he, he met the chief there, his native chief, and he said, uh, he said he's talking to him, and the chief got converted, and, and uh, oh, that's Uncle Benny found out the chief had five wives, five wives. And, he, and Uncle Benny told him, he said, listen, he said, you're going to have to pick out one, you're going to have to go tell them other four, they, they got to go. Yeah. And the chief, he thought about it for a while and sat there, and he said, I'll tell you what, me stay here, you go tell them. <laughs> oh, that's good. Jerry would have loved that. You reckon? Yeah. Uh, Jerry traveled all over, all over the world. And uh, we're going to sing a song in a little bit that he told me one time. He said some missionary friends went to, I think it was a, the jungles of Africa, uh -huh. and said they started singing this song. And the guy said, that's Jerry Goff's song. He said, and said they were singing in their native tongue. And he said, but I recognized the tune. And he wow. said, I had them translate and said, sure enough, that was. Wow. Was but How cool you know what, is that? You know what? I don't know if you ever got to meet Jerry, uh, but he would, have, I, he would have absolutely loved you. Well, I, I heard one good story that, that he used to tell little Jan. Uh, he said she was the best cook. She was the best cook he had ever had. And he yeah. said that, he said, I, I love your biscuits so much. He said, I'm pretty sure I could, I could eat at least two cans of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. He had such a good sense of humor. And on those Christian cruises, you know, and he would MC, he would tell some of the funniest stories. And we'd hear them a million times, but they were still, they were just still awesome. funny. Yep. But God yep. puts that in us. You know, God, yeah. he, puts, he puts laughter inside us. Yeah. And, and some, of us, some of us get a little more of other things, but that's all right. That's the way he wants us to be because we yep. all got a job to do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Love you, brother. I love you right back. I love you, but it's time for you to say it with me. Get back in the choir, Joey. Well, that was quick, I reckon. <laughs> oh, Brother John Turner, come around. We're going to sing uh, one of uh, Jerry's signature songs. Uh, said, Where We Ever Shall Be. I love this song, and I love to hear Dr. Turner sing it. And uh, you're going to enjoy this song and sing along with us, because I'm sure most of y'all know it.
Jerry would say, if somebody would say amen about that thick, we'd sing a little more of that. So, here we go. One, two. Where we Dr. Charles Jerry Goff made an indelible mark on the gospel music world, not only as a talented singer, musician, mentor, businessman, and preacher, but as a songwriter as well. Over his storied career, Brother Jerry introduced a countless number of classic songs that are still being sung by many artists on the road today. Among his compositions are titles such as, Please Search the Book Again, I'll Meet You on the Other Side of Jordan, Tears Will Stop This Side of Heaven, and Where We Ever Shall Be. But, without question, his most beloved song is, I Am Blessed. Although there isn't an alluring story behind the writing of the song, it is quite obvious that it came from a deep place in Jerry's heart. He had preached a sermon from Ephesians chapter 1, and as he was known for doing, he got happy, and the song just came pouring out. I am blessed, I am blessed, every day that I live, I am blessed. It has been sung by the smallest of rural church congregations and performed by choirs in the finest cathedrals in the nation. It has echoed through the halls of every high school and civic auditorium from California to Maine. It has covered the globe as Brother Jerry thundered from the pulpits in almost every continent on earth. The most unlikely of secular pop artists have used the simple refrain in their performances. Even in the most remote parts of the jungles of Africa, friendly tribesmen have greeted missionaries by singing it for them in their native tongue. Won't you join with us as the Redback Revival Choir sings Jerry Goff's signature song, I Am Blessed. <laughs> his good name. I hope you've enjoyed these songs that uh, so far uh, just about everything was written by Dr. Jerry. Now here's one that he was known for singing that he didn't write. Uh, you know what, before we do that I need to remind you to um, go to our social media platforms to WATC.TV and thank the station for um, having uh, programming like the Redback Revival and so many other uh, great gospel music shows and good preaching and teaching shows and uh, good shows just about life. But uh, thank them for that. But especially uh, mention the Redback Revival to them. Let them know that you're enjoying this kind of programming. Uh, then if you want to reach out to any of us uh, in our cast members, you can do that by going to redbackrevival.com. And uh, we'd love for you to do that. And, uh, you know, Something else that Brother Jerry was known for, he was a prayer warrior. Several, several times he uh, 
he would call me and he would say, Charlie, I need you to help me pray about something. And we would pray together on the phone. And this cast, all you got to do is send us uh, a message through our uh, redbackrevival.com and uh, just leave us a prayer request. I assure you, these people will pray for you. And uh, so anyway, thanks for doing that. I hope you've enjoyed the show. We're going to leave you with a song that Jerry didn't write. A lot of people thought he wrote it, but he didn't. Um, Marty Martin, come down here. I want you to sing this verse on this. Um, this is a good old song that they closed their programs and uh, crusades and revivals with night after night after night. And uh, we're going to leave you with this one. You're going to know it. I want you to sing along with us. This says, I'll see you in the rapture. Yeah. If we never meet again on this earth, my precious friend, if to God we have been true and we've lived above all sin, then for us there'll be a greeting, for there's going to be a meeting. I'll see you in the rapture some sweet day. Above all sin.